All right, and welcome back. It's time for Game with Guest. Today, I'm putting Crystal in the hot seat as we play Star Trek themed Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. It, this, this is pretty cool. Gary outdid himself on this one. All right. So, which was the first Enterprise's designation? NCC 1701A, NCC 1701, NCC 1700, or NCC 1701-1. All right, Crystal, uh, which well, one that, was it? That A is probably there to trip me up because some of the other enterprises had letters attached to their registration later, but the original enterprise was NCC 1701, so the correct answer would be B. Is that your final answer? I will lock in B as my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crystal, so let's bring on the second question. What is Captain Kirk's middle name? Is it Timothy? Is it Tiberius? Is it Titus? Or is it Thomas? And that's a lot of alliteration for everybody out there. There is a Thomas in Star Trek. Uh, William Riker had a clone <laughs> brother named Thomas Riker, but oh, yes. Captain Kirk's middle yes. name is actually Tiberius, so the correct answer would be B. <laughs> B. Final answer? That is my final answer. All right. Absolutely correct. All right. So let's move on to number three. What character is able to shift forms? Is it Data? Is it the Doctor from Voyager? Is it Odo? Or is it Neelix? Well, since one of them, only one of the characters you listed is classified as a shapeshifter, it has to be Odo, which is C. Oh. And of course you are correct, because definitely Odo can shift forms. And I'm going to be really nice to make Gary insert a little picture of an autograph from the address. Actually, autograph through a little photo right over there. It's kind of cool. Sorry. Sorry, Gary. All right. So Data has a pet. What kind of animal is it? Is it a fish? Is it a holographic parrot? Is it a dog? Or is it a cat? He wrote an entire poem about Spot, his cat. So the correct answer is D. <laughs> Absolutely correct. I mean, but but who names a cat Spot? Come on. All I right. think an android does. <laughs> I, <laughs> and an android did, or will. All right, so moving <laughs> yeah, so on. You the whole paradox so, there. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy paradox. All right, so what character was adopted by Vulcan Ambassador Spock? Was it Michael Burnham? Was it Cybok? Was it Spock? Or was it Sylvia Tilly? So, Remember, well, you do have well, phone was... a friend. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I need to phone a friend quite yet, but maybe I will in a, on a future Aww. question. So while it, she was never mentioned in the original series, and that will be interesting to find out why, uh, you find out that Sarek and his wife Linda adopted Michael Burnham after her parents were killed in a Klingon attack. So the correct answer is A. And spoilers for episode three. Sorry, but absolutely correct. <laughs> Thank, good job, Crystal. All Not right. A major plot spoiler. I feel like that one's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're ramping up the difficulty here, and I know that this one um, might be near and dear to your heart. Um, it, it is to a few people around our hobby. What series is the the DVD game on? Is it the original series, The Next Generation, 
Voyager, or Deep Space Nine. So if it weren't if it were right next to me, I would actually pick it up and show it to you. But Star Trek, <laughs> the, I actually I own the VCR game. I don't own the DVD game. So that's what makes this interesting. Oh. I don't know what, the, I know what the VCR game was, but I do not know what the DVD game is for sure. So I could be make I could make a guess, um, or you I could go with my. Do have your thing. options available? Uh, you, can uh, it, you can use a lifeline, <laughs> and we have these let's, options available. Let's use a lifeline just in case, because I know what the VCR game was based on, but I don't know if the DVD game is based on the same series. Okay, so let's use our lifeline. So that takes away two. Uh, which lifeline would you want to use? 50-50. There you go. Well, that's the two that I would have narrowed it down to on my own, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> I guess we will... Gee, it's funny uh, how that works in this game, isn't it? That's generally how 50-50 tends to go. Uh, the the D, so the, the the VCR game is based on Next Generation. It is the Klingon Challenge. I own that. I don't own the DVD game, although now I kind of want to. <laughs> um, and I'm going to hope that since DVDs were popular. Hey guys, Gary here. Just real quick, because the audio was lost in this segment, Crystal answered B, the Next Generation. Are, are you sure? Final answer? Oh gosh, now you're making me scared. I Yes, my if I if I get it wrong am I out? <laughs> uh you would be unless I would be out. I want to see all the questions though. Um I don't want to use up all my lifelines on question 6. <sighs> I'm going to guess I'm going to lock it in as my final answer. And that would be the right decision because it absolutely oh is goodness. the next generation. <laughs> That's an awful lot of stress for question the six. Of this quiz, I hope that that, <laughs> that gets them the truth. <laughs> I was terrified. All right, Crystal, you made it through. That was close. That was really close, but we're about halfway through. Don't forget, you have two lifelines left now. You've used one. Do you still have your phone a friend? And you can ask the audience. So they still exist. But okay. let's get on to the next question. So what is the system of maintenance shafts on a starship called? Are they turbo shafts? Are they engineering conduits? Are they Jeffrey's tubes? Or are they Montgomery tubes? While Montgomery Scott was the engineer on the original Enterprise, the tubes are not named after him. Although I don't remember why they're called Jeffrey's tubes, but that is what they are called. So the correct answer would be C, Jeffrey's tubes. Final answer? That is my final answer. And that's good because it is correct. And I'm sure somebody will leave something in the comments and tell me exactly why they are called Jeffrey's tubes because I do not I'm, remember I, I, either. You know, I just I can't remember everything. I know there's a reason for the name. I just don't remember what it is. Fair enough. All right, moving on. The Defiant features what piece of loaned tech? Is it a cloaking device? It is. Is it a trans warp device? quantum torpedoes or an infinity stone <laughs> well i'm sure the avengers would love to be in the star trek universe uh there are no infinity stones that i'm aware of uh, disney just could buy them souls. it could happen <laughs> you know it, anything's possible but the Defiant is the only ship in the Federation that has the same technology as most Klingon ships, which would be the ability to cloak. So that would be, A, a cloaking device. And, of course, that's your final answer? That's my final answer. <laughs> and it's good because it is correct. Awesome. All right. <laughs> 
So, what series featured a Tribbles crossover episode with the original series? Was it Enterprise? Was it The Next Generation? Voyager? Or Deep Space Nine? It is probably one of the most fun episodes of its series. It's uh, the episode is actually called Trials and Tribulations, and it is an episode of Deep Space Nine. So D is my final answer. And D is correct. And I, yeah, it's totally one of the best ones. Absolutely, I love it when Worf goes. We don't talk about that. That's absolutely <laughs> the best. Yeah. All right. Moving on to our next question where they start to get really tough. You have nine down. Remember, you still have two lines on the board. What species is made up of a host and symbiote? Is it Nox? Is it Trill? Talaxian? Or Bajoran? Uh, this one is easy for me only because one of my favorite characters in all of Star Trek is Jadzia Dax. And that is because she has lived a whole bunch of laugh lifetimes as a Trill with a symbiont inside of her. So my cr the answer would be B, Trill. You seem very sure about that. Are you absolutely positive? That is 100% my final answer. <laughs> And it is correct, of course. Hold on. I think I we need to source some harder questions next time. <laughs> All right. I'm actually We're very excited up here, that though. I haven't made a fool of myself yet. <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this episode just as much as I'm enjoying editing it. So uh, this entire next segment actually gets uh, completely wiped. So it's question number 11. And Crystal was asked, what was Captain Picard's first command? The USS Enterprise, the USS Phoenix, the USS Stargazer, or the USS Reliant? I'll give you guys a couple of seconds before I answer it. And I think that was enough time. Uh, she got it right and she went with USS Stargazer C. Hope you enjoy the rest of the game. All right, Crystal, so you're doing really well so far. You still have two lifelines left. We can do a poll the audience or you can phone a friend. And we have three questions left. Three questions separate you from one million points. Take that, flip the table. All right, so what quadrant did the wormhole from Deep Space Nine exit into? Is it the Gamma Quadrant? Is it the Delta Quadrant? The Beta Quadrant? Or the Alpha Quadrant? So this is a question I should definitely know the answer to since I just rewatched all of Deep Space Nine last year, but I'm doubting myself instantly. I know it's not the Alpha Quadrant because that's where Earth is located. I'm like 99% sure it's not the beta quadrant because that's next to the alpha quadrant and easier to get to. I think the other two are both possible. I think it might be the delta quadrant, but I'm not sure. So I'd like to use a lifeline. Uh, I would like to phone a friend. Okay, and through the magic of technology, we will phone your friend. Hey, what's up? Hello? So I actually have to read the question to someone? To a uh, fake person? Oh, yes. Uh, okay, I'm do. reading to my friend. Uh, so what's the question? Uh, oh, okay, no, no, they're it's thinking I didn't have to read it. <laughs> no, no, you have to read it. No, no, Chris, you have to read me the question. What's the question, real. Crystal? What's the question? I think it's B. Wait, I'd, e I'd even tell you if it's B or not, but it's like yeah, it's B. And, um, I don't know, I, I guess I'm like 43% okay. sure. So, 43%? Uh, yeah, go with That's yeah. about how sure I am, and I, it's not enough. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, my friend thinks the same thing I do, but I don't... 
So I'm trying to remember, because I think the top two, one of them is definitely where the wormhole leads to, and the other one is where Voyager gets tossed to at the very beginning of the Vo- Voyager series. And I, my initial inclination was Delta, but I think that's where Voyager gets tossed to, and I know that the wormhole doesn't come out of the same place that Voyager does end up. They're different places, but Gamma doesn't sound right. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't want to use up my last lifeline, but I also don't want to be eliminated. <sighs> All right, I guess we're, we're going to go in blind from here. I'm going to ask the audience. <laughs> going to ask the audience. Yeah. All right, so we're using the last lifeline. Does that help? Okay, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> that's the, the worst. Audience the audience rarely know is. <laughs> all right, we're on the wrong show for sure. Yeah, it's okay. I truthfully, it's. It, <sighs> I'm going to go against my better judgment, which is not a good idea, probably. But I think voyager got tossed into the delta quadrant which would have to mean that the wormhole comes out in the gamma quadrant so my answer is going to be a the gamma quadrant and i'm so sorry yeah, my Trek best fans, just filled in. This wrong. is that That's your final, final answer That's my final answer oh god oh. <sighs> are you kidding correct. <laughs> holy cow oh no, you absolutely are correct Oh my gosh, my well friend done. in the audience didn't help me at all. <laughs> well, they need to get caught up. All right, so we have two left. All okay. right. So what role did Major Barrett not play? Did she not play the computer voice? Did she not play Nurse Chapel? Did she not play Loxana Troy? Or did she not play Lieutenant Commander? Okay, this one's easy, thankfully. Whew. So, Majel Barrett definitely was the com- voice of the computer in almost every Star Trek series. She was Nurse Chapel in the original series. She is Deanna Troy's mother, Loxana Troy, in The Next Generation. And I don't even know what Lieutenant Commander should theoretically be, because it's not even a name, but she's definitely not that. So my answer is D. (laughs) Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. And it is correct. So congratulations. We're here at the end. So one question separates you from one million points. It's technically so 10 million. In which, the app, but <laughs> 10 million. Yeah. 10 million. I can't see the app, so I'll take your word for it. 10 million points. Yeah, I passed it, 1 million a couple table. questions ago. We're going for the stars here. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll take your word for it. So which Star Trek game is highest ranked on BGG? as of two days ago when I did this list. Is it (laughs) Star Trek Fleet Captains? Is it Star Trek Catan? Star Trek Ascendancy? Or Star Trek Attack Wing? And you're all on your own because all the lifelines are gone. Well, the lifelines weren't helping anyway, so that's fine. But this is... Uh, I have... I have played or own three of the four games. Uh, I am Okay, so which one certain. don't you own? I do not own, nor have I played Attack Wing, but I basically know that that is the Star Trek okay. version of X-Wing. Uh, so I'm familiar with it, okay. and I know that the people who do like it probably like it a lot, but I also don't think it's super popular. Let's see Star Trek Ascendancy. And is that your final answer? That's all I got. I don't. I can't suss it out any further. So that's my final answer. Oh, but you were so close. <laughs> <laughs> and I figured that could be the case. Fleet Captains is an awesome game. 
there apparently is still a lot of love for fleet captains. I was a little surprised. Well, I definitely want to thank you, Crystal, for coming on today. That was awesome, and that was a lot of fun. I'm sorry you didn't get to win the multi-million points, but it was definitely a lot of fun having you today.